Welcome friends. Uh, this is about <coughs> the changing of the organization plan, creating new positions and creating new organizational unit. So uh, in this particular client, we have been provided uh, the space for creating new positions and uh, new organization unit. This is the space where we will create uh, and uh, for all of the users. Uh, so according to your user ID, if your user ID is ZBI012, then probably you will be creating positions and organization unit here. Uh, as a demonstration, I am using this particular organization unit. So if you want to create uh, either a position or an organization unit within this particular organization unit, we, first of all, we have to select it and then we have to go to create. <laughs> but before doing that, uh, yes, make sure that you selected the uh, period from the first of the last month uh, to the one year in future. So this is what the training material says. That's why we are complying with the same. And the significance of this date is that uh, this actually uh, will be automatically taken as the start date uh, for the purpose of creating the position, uh, creating the relationship uh, of the position with this particular departments. So uh, make sure you have made it the first of the last month, which is in our case is first June uh, to the future one year. <clears throat> And uh, let's uh, create the uh, object and uh, the system says you can either create another organization unit or you can create a position. So we need to create a position at this point of time. So click incorporate because the position uh, is incorporated in the organization unit and here is the new position. So the system automatically opens the detail dialog. Uh, uh, position as well. So this is the position we can change uh, the description here. So CSM, Chief Security Manager, User ID and Chief Security <coughs> Manager and make sure the date is valid from his first June. By default it is first June because we have set the date here first June. He is the head of the department. The position is the head of the department and we saved it. <clears throat> on the same pattern we shall create uh, two more positions right so keep in mind that in order to create the position first of all we have to select the place where we need to create the position so this is the organization unit within which i want to create the position and i create two new positions and i escape this from recording so that uh, we can save some time so friends, uh, these are the three positions I created and make sure that uh, after creating the position, you save it. And uh, uh, let me change the period from Okay, friends, so uh, I'm sorry, I changed the period. So let me correct it again. So it has to be set to 1st of June. So 1st of June 2019 and yes it's okay okay if somehow you see uh, that the position is not created correctly uh, that the first June the date you were supposed to create it's not correct then probably and you will see some sort of arrow mark over here uh, so if there is an arrow mark then make sure first of all check the validity dates uh, that is double click the position and when you will double click the position you will see the validity date from and to so you can see that this particular uh, is created from 1 1st June to 8th July I intentionally created it wrong right because and uh, in some cases you will see an arrow sign over here if the dates are wrong so what to do if the dates are wrong uh, you just need to select the position and you know, for academically uh, we uh, do nothing else but we just delete this position so as soon as you press the delete button, the system asks you, do you want to delete the object or the assignment? I want to delete the object itself. So delete the object and then create the object again uh, <clears throat> by actually selecting your own department and then creating the position. So this way uh, you will see that uh, uh, the positions can be deleted as well if somehow they have been created uh, with some uh, wrong data. So if you want to create another department within this particular department, again, first of all, we have to select the department means the organization unit, and then we have to create, and now we have to select the first option, which means the organization unit. So selecting the first option system will again give you some of the entry options, features of the organization unit. So you can change the name as we did it uh, 
main gate security. So this is something that we did in class, triple zero main gate security. And make sure that the dates are correct. Nothing else, press enter, press save. <clears throat> this is how we can actually work on uh, create new positions and create new departments. And if I want to create some new positions within this department, I can just now select this particular organization unit and again, go to create and create new positions. I hope uh, this way you will be able to create uh, your own positions and organization units. Thank you.